So Pavel, you say that dark matter doesn't exist. Wrong. Out. Falsification is the key <laughs> word. You test the one theory, dark matter exists, test it, it's falsified with more than five sigma, it doesn't exist, you drop it, you don't even touch it anymore ever. In our modern research group, group we do not touch dark matter anymore. Francesca yeah. will I disagree, I think. Come so. in and try to explain why we haven't all stopped working on dark matter. I think within the dark matter model, the reason we haven't just all said, well, okay, this is just inconsistent, we're going to stop working on it, is that it's really quite a complicated question how fast galaxies should be moving. And the dark matter model has been so successful at explaining other observations that I really think we should just be working on both. Um, you know, I think having some people working on dark matter and some people working on modified gravity is probably a, a reasonable division but of labor. But I might, I might interject here, okay. um, because I hear the statement many times that uh, the dark matter models, of course the cosmological dark matter models, have been successful in, in accounting for a, a large variety of observations. It is wrong. I don't know any single observation which has actually been successfully reproduced by, by the dark matter models. One case. If you look, if you count the number of galaxies within our uh, surroundings, you go out to hundreds of uh, millions of light years. You can count the number of galaxies per unit space you have, right? And uh, we see that the density of matter increases out to um, about um, 1,500 million light years. So it's, uh, that's already a large distance. Um, and um, which means we live in a gigantic under density. This is called the KBC void, which was, was discovered by Keenan, Barg, and Coey in 2012, and it's been verified by subsequent studies, also looking at the number of galaxy clusters. We live in a region of cosmological space which has a lower mass density, a smaller number of galaxy clusters, smaller number of galaxies, than further out. Now, that huge void is completely inconsistent with the Lambda CDM model. There have been, you know, some things that are predictions in the more normal sense. Um, so, for example, if dark matter exists and Einstein's theory of general relativity is, broadly speaking, correct, um, even at large scales, then we would expect to observe um, the bending of light around dark matter. This is called gravitational lensing. And then, you know, indeed, we have observed that. So. There are some things where you can kind of make predictions and see them. But with a lot of science these days, and particularly a lot of fundamental physics, there's so much input that needs to go into every calculation. You have to make so many assumptions, and everyone has to do that. We have to do it, you have to do it if you're calculating in modified gravity. You have to do that to calculate anything, that it can be quite hard to disentangle exactly what's a prediction and what just consistency within the theory. There's a very beautiful test which falsifies the dark matter existence with more than 12 sigma confidence, and that's that galaxies build up bars in the center, so the whole disk galaxy is becomes a little bit unstable, and it, and it forms a bar-like structure. If you look at pictures of galaxies, you can see the round disk galaxy with spiral patterns, and there's a bar in many of them. Yeah? Now, this bar is a solid rotator. It, can, it has to be a, a solid rotating structure, otherwise it wouldn't be a bar. It's not a spiral pattern. This structure is a huge amount of mass which actually moves around like a spoon in coffee and it heats up the dark matter hell around it in that theory and therefore it slows down because it gives its, ob its moving uh, energy to the dark matter which absorbs it and the dark matter halos puffs up a little bit. That slowdown is radically not seen in the data. It's 12 sigma which is much much more than 5 sigma totally not there in the data. This is why I'm so completely confident there is no dark matter. I mean, as a scientist, I would be ruining my reputation if I would be cl claiming around in the, um, in the landscape there is no dark matter when my colleague next door, a famous professor, tells me there is dark matter. But I have to follow the scientific evidence which tells me there is absolutely no dark matter. For podcasts, talks, debates, courses and articles, visit the Institute of Art and Ideas. Click the link on screen now to iai.tv.